What's goody warriors? How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I hope you're feeling fantastic. I'm not wasting any time. I'm going to get straight into it. We're talking about SummerSlam. As well, I want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed and continue to support me. You help inspire me and motivate me to do more videos. So thank you for your communication. Um, I got 29 new subscribers just last week. And I got like 11 people adding me on Twitter. And I've been talking with a lot of people on Instagram and Twitter and on here. So thank you. I've really enjoyed communicating and meeting new people and having such fantastic conversations about comic books, about movies, about life, about everything. I'm going to keep it going, talking about wrestling. Now, granted, I'm not the biggest fan as I used to be with the era from 1991 to 1999, which was, you know, the Buff Bagwell, the Dangerous Alliance, Stunning Steve Austin, Ravishing Brick Rude, Van Vader, Sting, when he had the blonde hair. Much of my rap D Savage into the Brett the Hitman Heart versus the, the basic Heart Foundation versus British Bulldog era into the MWO era, Nash Hall, Hogan, and everybody into the and Sting into the Attitude era with the Rock, Stone Cold, Triple H, all that stuff. That's when I was a big massive fan. Now I'm not so much a big fan, but I do watch all the Raw, SmackDown, and sometimes main events, and I watch all the pay per views. This pay per view, I wasn't going to do a video about it, but I have a big problem with it. Now, first of all, you had Ziggler versus The Miz. Dolph Ziggler was really good, but The Miz, whatever. Boring as ever. Now the best matches were the women's matches. Brie Bella versus Stephanie McMahon was actually a really good match. I enjoyed it. I was shocked at how well Stephanie was actually wrestling. She'd been training for a very, very, very long time. It didn't too surprise me. And she's from the, at the era of like, she was wrestling people like Lita and Trish Stratus. She had to deal with China. So I'm not too surprised that she could deal with Brie Bella. The shock was Nikki Bella betrayed her own sister, Brie. Nikki Bella, what a disappointment. I'm disappointed in you. Betray your own sister for probably a check. Whatever. Whatever. Match was good. Then you had another match which was Paige versus AJ Lee. That match was sick. That was a real match, man. Like you stated all the moves. That was better it was better that match was better than ninety percent of the matches at that event. It was better than the Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns match. Now the Randy Orton versus Roman Reigns, Randy Orton carried Roman Reigns the whole match. Roman Reigns, a couple punches, a couple kicks, a suplex, a Samoan drop, a re um, an arm reversal into Samoan drop, onto a second off the rope Samoan drop. What else is Roman Reigns? Oh yeah, the punch thing when he puts you on the ropes, then he runs out the ring, he does the gunshot thing, then does a drop kick. That was it. Randy Orton carried Roman Reigns throughout the whole match. Roman Reigns, good hair and a good look. And interacting with the fans, I like how Roman Reigns always comes through the, the audience. That's something that's really good. You know, the fans feel like they're close to you when you do that. So that's really cool. You know, but all that stuff can only get you so far. More moves, Roman. We had another match. Chris Jericho versus Bray Wyatt. Now, that match was actually really good and really physical. Chris Jericho, after all this time, the dude still got it. It was physical. It was fast. It wasn't slow-paced. The moves, they, they, they didn't whiff moves at all, unlike the Rusev versus Jack Swagger, which was a dismal match, where Rusev won, it was boring as hell, dismal. Chris Jericho versus Bray Wyatt, it was a good match. Bray Wyatt won, I was shocked that he won. Yeah, he deserved it, he put effort in, he fought hard, and he's the talent, he's the future. While Chris Jericho feels like a part-time wrestler, that only really comes in, stays for about a month or two months, and um, does good promos with the new talent, loses to them, then he goes off to do a tour, then he comes back again. I don't know. That's how I see it personally. Missing you, CM Punk, Chris, and Daniel Bryan. Missing you, man. The best. The two best wrestlers that are not in WWE. The two best wrestlers that WWE needs right now. But anyway, we're not going to go too far into that. Now, let's talk about the match. John Cena versus Brock Lesnar. I'm gonna start off straight off the bat. That match was rubbish. I paid 40 pounds. I'm embarrassed. 
I'm embarrassed to say that I paid to watch this event. I'm embarrassed. I paid money for this and I'm, I'm just disappointed. What a disappointment. That match was rubbish. Good shit, Triple H. Well done. Good business decision. We all knew that John Cena was going to lose, was going to get molly whooped by Brock Lesnar. John Cena, in no shape or form, in any reality timeline or alternate reality or whatever, can beat Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is too strong, too fast, too skilled, too much of not just a wrestler, but a complete fighter to deal with, for John Cena to deal with. John Cena, do you think people are going to respect you for saying, I'm going to fight everybody? I'm going to take the hard way, not the easy way. I'm never going to give up. I'm never going to go out the ring. When you're getting hurt, why don't you go out the ring and take a break? Huh? Take time. No, you have to stay in the ring because you're going to take punishment because you think people are going to appreciate you. No. Good guys come last. And you are the ultimate good guy, which you have been for almost 10 years. And it is extremely boring now. What moves did he do in the whole match? He didn't do any moves. He did like a shoulder barge, a close line, and his finisher. And I didn't like the way Brock Lesnar was doing his F5. He did the F5 like a nose dive. Like, do you remember when Brock Lesnar did it on A Train and he dumped A Train on his head? That's the way he was doing it on John Cena. The same way he did it on Undertaker. He didn't do it the proper way that he was doing it when he fought, when he was proper there, when he fought in Kurt Angle. He's doing it the way where he does it, and he puts your head into the trajectory of the floor. I don't like the way he's doing it. I do not like the way he's doing this F5. But anyway, you have Brock Lesnar in WWE Wrestling doing, basically fighting like he's in a UFC ring. He's doing all the moves in a way that is not proper wrestling. We might as well, it's like watching Goldberg from 1996. This shit is boring. We, I paid money. Almost 40 pounds to watch Brock Lesnar do 60 suplexes. Bully, manhandle and humiliate. I mean, we didn't get to see the blood, vomit and urine, but it's pretty it's close enough. John Cena was molly whooped, thrown all over the place. At the end of the match, John Cena could not even stand up. You saw him saying, I can't move my leg. You know what, that match was rubbish. That match was garbage. It was worse than a, than a Goldberg match. Brock Lesnar can't work, he didn't look like he was getting hurt by any of the hits, he got up immediately after every single hit, he was swatting John Cena away easily, he was doing everything, it was rubbish, it was not even a wrestling match, it was not entertaining, it was not entertaining, I watch UFC and I watch wrestling, I don't want to see the two mix, I want to see WWE match, I did not see that, I saw just a fighter manhandling uh, wrestler slash entertainer. That's what I saw. It was rubbish. It was garbage. It was rubbish. I was not entertained by the main event in the slightest. So, Triple H, good shit. Good business decision. Now, the WWE Universe has got a part time wrestler. Someone that isn't even passionate about the uh, wrestling industry or WWE. He's just interested in lining his pocket. As John Cena said, he's a mercenary. Good shit, Triple H. You've given us Brock Lesnar as a champion. Someone that can't even uh, perform day in, day out. That doesn't put his body on the line every single night. Yeah, he's got the he's got the physical illness, which I think he's over now. But I don't think he's completely over because he can't wrestle all the time. But if you can't, why do you want to be champion for? Why do you want to represent the company when you don't give a shit about the company or the wrestling fans? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You know what? Good guys always come last. So I'm glad John Cena lost. Even though I do like John Cena, that good guy attitude, Ronnie doing, what, three or four moves every single match, punches and kicks, and his shoulder barge into the clothesline, into the, the backdrop, into you can't see me to the F, FU or attitude adjustment or the AA or whatever he's calling it. Boring. Boring. So, John Cena, I'm sorry, baby, but you deserve to lose. Obviously, we know it's going to be a trilogy because Brock Lesnar lost the first one. John Cena lost this one in an embarrassing, brutal manner. 16 German suplexes, which was as boring as hell. Dumping John Cena on the back of his head. Man, it was rubbish. It was garbage. Like, SummerSlam, you get that for the page. The two best moments was the whole wrestling match with the page 
versus AJ Lee, which is a brilliant match, which they were doing proper, which they were doing better wrestling moves than most of the men. It was absolutely amazing. And then Nikki, Nikki Bella betraying her sister. That was like the jaw-dropping moment of the whole event. Those two moments, that wrestling match and that event, that moment, was the best thing of the whole show. Other than that, the event was, it was meh. It was trash, man. I didn't enjoy it. So, Warriors, that was my review for um, SummerSlam. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking about it. If you've got something to say to talk to me about wrestling, let's go. Let's talk about it. Right there, the comment section. I'm waiting to hear you talk. I'll communicate with you. You know how I am. I'm very interactive with you guys because I like you guys. We're warriors. We're, we're the warrior family. You know, so let's keep this thing going. And thank you for watching. And I hope to hear from you. Okay, guys, take care.